Hey, what's up, guys? I am back with another video. In today's video, I need to talk to you guys about the Samsung S22 Ultra. This is actually the phone that I have been rocking for the past month, and I have a lot to say about this phone. All right, let's do it. But you guys know me already. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I drop new videos every single week. As mentioned, I've been using this phone for about a month and this phone really blew me out of the water. This is probably the best Samsung device or Samsung phone that I've used right now. Let's go ahead and talk about the model in my hand. This is the Phantom White. The Phantom White is gorgeous. The design on the back is insane. Samsung did a fantastic job with the design. Now, coming from a smaller phone, I didn't think that I'd like a bigger phone. I'm trying to really kind of condense and, and be more minimalistic like um like you know i'll put this guy's picture of the guy on youtube but this phone grew on me the first thing that i noticed was how easy the phone is to grip i did get a few cases with this phone but this clear case is the winner for me i've always liked cases that show off the phone more so than hide the phone the camera design here is very subtle yet futuristic we've got the actual buttons that you use 99% of the time on the right side of the phone. There are no physical buttons on the left side of the phone. Now down below, we do obviously have the USB type C for a charging port and we have the S Pen. I didn't think I would be falling back into using a pen on a phone, but this phone has definitely renewed my sense and confidence with Samsung. So far, the experience has been amazing. The Android experience is definitely something that you have to get used to if you're coming from the Apple ecosystem. For me, it was very different. It's been a little bit of a change for me one in particular being airdrop and the other one being that the the quick ability to search with the iphone that you can literally search your entire device or the web in just one swoop now then on the screen this screen is freaking bright this screen is probably the brightest screen that i've ever used on a phone i remember the other night i was lying down it felt like looking at the sun that was at the lowest setting so i uh, very surprised uh with the brightness and just the overall experience has been very interesting you can literally swipe down and you've got a myriad of options that you can pin to a drawer when you slide it down it's just you know it's different it's different but I gotta give it up to samsung this phone is incredible the other feature about this phone that I have to rave about is the fact that you can multitask with this phone. Now, I like the fact that even when I'm in the gym, if I'm reading an article, I can have a YouTube video right on top of the web page or the article I'm reading. That is so clutch to me. And as a creative, I want to find ways to make the job easier. I take videos for IG, I take videos for different projects that I'm using. I can literally take it out of my A7S, plug the A7S up to the phone and edit right away. Of course, I know the technology was out there, but I didn't think that it would be something that I would enjoy. It does make the process a lot easier for me. Now, when it comes to the camera and the video specs I've only used the video a little bit but I have to say for the little time that I've used this phone and the few videos I've done were amazing 8k 24 I, I just don't see the quality difference right now maybe it's just my eyes so I'm gonna try to see if there's like a, uh, a difference between them I just haven't seen it uh, right now in terms of the photo department the photos were very 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 dope very clean very sharp uh, the front facing camera it's nice sometimes the front facing camera tries to guesstimate or tries to clean up the image a little bit and that usually makes the image a lot worse so I've got my like sentiments on the front camera that camera is fantastic only other thing that I wanted to mention as well in this video was the functionality like functionality when you buy a phone you, you want to be able to use it right away and i think in this day and age a lot of us know how to use a phone fairly quickly i don't know how i feel about the buttons being all on the right side of the device it's a great idea i think in theory but i find that i have been hitting the uh, volume down button quite a bit and sometimes i'm in the gym working out i'm turning the uh, the volume down by accident sometimes i would double click uh the power button and obviously the, the camera comes up, but those are not what I wanted to do. So that might just be user error or something that I need to like go back and an update. But I kind of wish that they would have added a button on the left side of it. Maybe the, not the power button, but maybe added another uh, button here to make it a little easier. I think the volume up and down would have made more sense on the left side. The other thing too is the battery life. Obviously this phone comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, because I've got tons of stuff going on this phone, it I, I noticed that it doesn't last as long as 
as the OnePlus. And maybe it's just a power management issue that I need to go back and make some updates on. Maybe you guys can let me know if you know of any anything that I'm doing wrong, definitely leave them down in the comments. But overall, this phone has been fantastic. I did get some cases for this phone and uh, which I'm gonna be doing another video on, but the cases for this are endless. There, you've got a lot of great options. As mentioned, the clear one is the one that I truly love and truly uh, appreciate uh, with, this, uh, with this phone. And that is pretty much it. Now, there is the other comment. There is the two two areas I really want to get to in another video. One being Dex and the other one being my experience with the pen. Uh, the pen itself, I haven't really used it, so I don't want to say something that I haven't done. And I just want to be able to tie those into maybe a usability video. Uh, but that is my video on the S22 Ultra. Uh, so far, my 30-day impressions of the phone is insanely positive and I can't say anything bad about this phone. Like I can nitpick, but that would be too easy. That would be too easy. And instead of just appreciating the phone for uh, the great job that Samsung has done with it. So far, man, I gotta give it up to this phone. This phone is probably the best Samsung phone that I've used to date. But that's it, guys. Uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I would definitely like to hear your comments on this phone. If you own this phone, tell me what are some features that you love about this phone. There's just a lot that I need to get through, so I'm still kind of a newbie um, transitioning over to uh, Samsung while I'm trying and testing out some other products. But I would definitely love to hear you guys' comments down below and uh, definitely check out my other videos please consider subscribing and as always until my next video peace